welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have another Windows 10 mobile oriented uh, episode and today we are going to have a look at three different games again which will be Sokoban Boxman Pushbox, a little bit of a mouthful but still a nice game, um, Princess Runner and Bike Stunt Games Motorcycle Racing 3D. My name is Gerald. As always, I've got a couple of different things with me, which are, for instance, a Bluetooth mouse like this one. Um, I'm going to use the Formula keyboard, which is this one, which is also Bluetooth and powered, and just a keyboard, which can be folded, and because of that, the name. And um, I could be using the Xbox One as wireless controller, but in this episode, I'm not going to play any kind of game that really, yeah, is optimized for it, so we are not going to use it. And um, other than that, of course, everything is powered again by my mighty Numea 950XL, you can see it here. It has a USB-C connector at the bottom, which is connected with a USB-C cable, which is not connected today with the display dock, but it is directly connected to the TV by HDMI. So this is a uh, USB-C to HDMI cable. And that one is connected to the TV, and like that, we can have a look at this desktop like experience which is generated by the smartphone and can be used more or less like a desktop more or less it's not really a desktop system it's windows 10 mobile running here but as you can see i can now use my uh, mouse for instance and other stuff to navigate around and do stuff and yeah if you want to know more about all this please have a look at the corner there's a couple of different other videos where i'm going to talk about that more in depth and other than that, thanks. And let's start with the first game. Okay, the first game is going to be Sokoban Boxman Pushbox, which is a mouthful, as I already said, but a very nice game, but pretty hard, just to let you know. It's more or less a puzzle game, something like that, but it's pretty hard to play. Um, just to let you know, so you are not going to run into any kind of, yeah, misinformation or whatever about this. Um, I'm going to turn around to play it and we are going to open up, of course, oh sorry, there's a cable in the way. I'm going to put that away so we can better see what's going on here. Okay, like this. And um, yeah, in the end, what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to go to my all apps list here and searching for Sokoban Boxman push box. Okay, if I click on that, um, we are going to go in and yeah, this is more or less a puzzle game where you are going to try to occupy certain spaces on your map more or less with boxes you have to uh, turn around and uh, move around with your character. And uh, there is a little bit of a stretching going on in the menu, but that doesn't matter. The, the game itself doesn't have any kind of problems in, uh, like this. So as you can see, we have uh, yeah a couple of different levels you can play here. So there is a lot of uh, going on here. If you want to play this game, you really have a lot to do. It's even longer than that. So let's go back. But uh, as mentioned before, you will have a pretty nice time if you like this game because you really have a lot of different uh, ones here. As you can see, we can already see that we have uh, this level 1 open. I already played that. Level 2 is the one I would play in the next part. Uh, but uh, yeah, as mentioned before, it's pretty hard to play this game. So you really have to think about what you're going to do and you will have to, to really yeah, get the steps right you are going to play this with. And like this, we are just going to play the first level again. Hopefully I can solve it because it's really not easy to play. So, um, yeah, what is this game all about? You will have to put the different boxes you see there. The red one is a normal box which is at the right place already. But um, in the end, uh, if you see the different boxes, you have to push them around. In. And very important, you can't pull. So your character has to do steps like you need them to position every one of them, every box of them, uh, to those points on the ground. So these points define where you have to put the uh, different boxes to and of course as mentioned before you already only can push things around and now you can just use for instance your keyboard in this case so do it like this just jump around here 
and uh, try to get the right position of these boxes. Um, the steps you are taking for that are going to be counted and then you are going to go into the, the uh, high score more or less. As you could see, I already had one high score, which is a very bad one, I would say, because it was really hard to do it. Um, in the end, all you have to do is now push around the different boxes here. So let's go like this, for instance. And as you can see, if I would now push down again, I couldn't bring the box up because I can't go behind the box then and try to push it up. And this is what the game is all about and why it is hard to play. Um, in the end, you can't really start with the middle box because otherwise you're not going to be able to go out and by yourself. So as you can see, if I would push down again, box is at the corner there, I'm not going to be able to bring it up, back up again then. That's not going to work. So let's restart, which you can do as often as you want to. And um, now let's see what we can do here. As you can see, we would have to start with more or less something like this. So we are able to push this one to the side and go around like this. And now we need to think about what would be the next step, because it's not extremely simple at the moment. I think we can do this, do this, bring yeah, okay, lost already. And you can go one step back by this. So what we will have to do is we will have to bring this to the mid or center, go up there. This might work or is at least better than, than other situations. But again, I don't think we can solve this because we can't move around two boxes at the same time. So. That would be great, but we can't do this. It's not going to go uh, in that direction then. And so, as you already can see, we already lost again. Did we? Yeah. yeah. I can't really move the box from this position over there. At least not easily. Yeah. Okay. Let... Uh, okay. Sorry. Let's go this way around. I'm going to try to get it to work, but it's really not easy. This is possible, but the problem is I will have to push the upper box to somewhere. Otherwise I can't move that box around. And if I do that, both of them are at the same. I can't solve it. So let's do it again. As mentioned before, really, really hard game. You really have to think about what you're doing here. I will have to get that one down. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I think about if I can do it like this, for instance. If we now move this around, bring this up. Go up again here. Bring this up again. Ooh. Yeah, but now I can solve it. But as you can see, it's really hard to do it. You really have to think about how to solve this game. And really not easy, if you ask me. There's some kind of, of uh, advertisement in here. So in some situations, you just can click it away, sometimes not. You, you already know about that. Okay, after that, if you have any kind of high score or whatever, you can type in something here. Not sure if it's going to take my submission. Doesn't really matter. But in the end, uh, you can see we got some kind of a high score, let's, to, uh, let's, let's to, uh, call it that way. But in the end, as you can see, we have 46 steps in this round, which is of course a very bad number because I just had to go around, do different things and stuff like that. But anyway, now we solved the first puzzle. The next one is not going to be easier. So if you go in here, 
And you can see it already, there is a different kind of layout and set, uh, setup here again. And this time around you are not centered, so this is even, even worse because you can't really go to the right side behind the boxes if you push them down and stuff like that. So just try it out, I really find it pretty hard to solve. Um, maybe I'm just stupid, I don't know. Um, so just try it out and I think if you want some kind of an, of an challenge or something, this game is pretty much what you want. Okay, so the second game we are going to have a look at is Princess Runner. Princess Runner is something like Subway Runner with princesses or whatever. So it's uh, yeah, really, really a known game with a little bit of a different touch to it. Um, but uh, that only gets uh, up there if you play it for a while. So let's turn around again and have a look at it. Um, problem with it is that it's a little bit hard to play because the frame rate isn't perfect. It's fine, you can play it, but it's not perfect. So let's have a look, Princess Runner, there we are. I'm going to click on that. And we are going to use the keyboard again, so I think you can use uh, the uh, arrow keys and WASD for it. And so that's more or less all you will need in this game. And what you're going to do here is you're going again to run from some kind of a policeman and you're running through yeah, train stations and stuff like that. So the, the thing you already know, um, there can be different things. But it's a 3D game, as you can see, a pretty nice one, but with a little bit of a problem with the frame uh, stuff, if you ask me. It's not totally smooth, but still okay to play. And um, yeah, here you can, for instance, uh, select different kind of characters if you want to. Um, but we are just going to keep that. Probably, yeah, there are different kind, uh, kinds of, of options to go in here. And they give us one option already, so Lucy's outfit is now available if you want to play this one. Um, actually, I like the other one better. Let's use this. Um, and in the end, then you can just go around, have a look at the different st uh, stuff here. Go, for instance, for different boards and stuff like that, because there are a couple of different other um, power-ups and stuff like this. But we are not going to... Do that now, just let's go if it lets us. And as you can see, there we are. Very uh, commonly used game, more or less. A little bit on the on the wacky side, as, you, as mentioned before, so you really have to be pretty early if you're pressing something. But with all the different uh, power-ups and stuff like that that you already might know, that one was pretty close to being just mean because they're really putting us in the front of one of the uh, one of the trains here. But anyway, um, the game is like that. You can, for instance, after the advertisement has gone, at least, let's see when that will happen. It's a longer one, but you can skip it as you can see. There we go. Um, after that, you can, for instance, try to, to um, yeah, secure or rescue your hero here. I'm not going to do that, especially not in the in the starter part here. And now let's see what's going on. So what is the, uh, the twist I was talking about, a little bit at least? Of course, you're going to collect all the different, um, the different, ouch, um, the different, um, coins here and stuff like that, and you are trying to get different power-ups, of course. The twist is that there is some kind of, of nice little feature I didn't at least find in other Subway uh, uh, Runner stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it's probably all there too, but one thing is that you can run at the side of trains, which is a little bit funny and, and yeah, nice somehow. First couple of times I just died when I, I got into that. But yeah, it's a little bit nice, I think. Let's see. Okay, so let's try to run around and get a little bit of stuff done at least. Again, um, just use your WASD for instance to play this game. How should I go over that? 
That's just a dead end, if you ask me. <sighs> yeah, sorry to, to let you down a little bit when playing this. When I'm playing it and talking at the same time, I'm really not good at playing anymore. I have to concentrate on the game itself. And just to let you know, you can only uh, navigate or better to say move your character around and stuff like that if you are after this bridge style. So if you think you can't play this game before, no, you can. You just have to be at the right timing and stuff like that, and you have to be after the bridge. And as you can see, we got a couple of different power-ups like this magnet and this jumping style part, whatever. And again, why the hell do they really let me land in front of one of the, uh, the trains here? That's just not fair, somehow, if you ask me. But okay, whatever. Um, this is a game you can play it as you already know from all the subway surfer games like this. Um, it's a pretty nice iteration of it. It could be a little bit more performant, but it's fine. You can play it. And um, especially if you use, for instance, a USB uh, connector and not the Bluetooth connector for your input devices, because the Bluetooth connector itself has a little bit of a delay and the game isn't respo very responsive, so it adds up a little bit. So just think about if you want to play it or play it on your smartphone itself. If you play it there, everything should be yeah, more fine or better to play at least. Okay, and then let's have a look at the last game of this episode. The last game of this episode is going to be Bike Stunt Games Motorcycle um, Racing 3D. A mouthful again, but um, yeah, more or less a game where you're going to drive with a, mo a motorcycle around. And you are going to uh, have to do uh, yeah, a couple of stunts, uh, stuff like that. It's a little bit funny because all the different stunt courses and stuff like that are in the air for some uh, kind of reason. The good thing about it is you're not really dying or something. Um, but in the end, if you want to solve one of the puzzles or the puzzles, yeah, it's just a challenge. It's not a puzzle or something. If you want to uh, uh, solve one of those, um, then you will have to stay uphill, more or less. Okay, so let's go to the start menu again. Going to the all apps list in this case. I'm going to go up here and I have to put in with my keyboard here bike stunt games in this case. So motorcycle racing 3D. We are going to start this. It takes a little bit of time to, to load in, but after that you can really pretty easily and nicely play this game. Um, it is possible to play this game by touch controls or by your keyboard. We are going to use the keyboard again. And um, yeah, WASD is the most important stuff for you because with uh, yeah, the upper button here you can more or less accelerate. Um, brakes are, it's a, it's a down button of course, and left and right is just to steer around. And as you can see, you can switch it over. So first off, you will see it like this. You will, of course, have to click on this, go to keyboard if you want to play it in the continuum world here. Um, I don't think the settings are accessible for some kind of reason. I'm not sure why, because probably there would only be sounds like this one in there too. And as you can see, this is a little bit of a buggy thing, but it really works. It just shows the wrong state, more or less. After that, if you are ready, just click on play. This is more or less the, the um, graphical style you are going to experience. As you can see, you have a garage too, where you can select different kind of bikes in, at least if you have the money for it, which we don't have. As you can see, we have only $245 uh, of cash, and we would need 1,500 for this uh, bike, for instance, and of course more for the others we are going to experience here. But in the end, as we are starting off, we have to use this Lego style one. I'm not sure why, but yeah, this is what the, uh, the first one looks like. So go to the next part and let's play. As you can see, we have a couple of different modes here. So a day um, mode where you just play at daylight and everything is fine. Um, there's a, it's a night mode with lightning in there, and um, we have a rainy mode. Um, yeah, we have the normal night mode more or less. We have sky 
mode where you are going to drive around in free space more or less. I'm, I'm not sure what this is all about. But anyway, we are just going to go with the first one. As you can see, first level I already solved this. The second level would be the next one. And you have about 10 levels for each of the selections there yeah, to go on and on and on about. We are going to start with the first one here again. And as mentioned before, use your keyboard to steer this. If you are on continuum, it's much better than anything else and works pretty nicely. I'm not sure if we could use a wireless controller. I didn't test it properly. Let's see if there's something working there. And I'm just starting this up now. It's connected and now we can have a look at... Yeah, he is... He is working. And I'm dying. But in the end... Um, yeah, seems to be working with the controller too, so if you want to use that, try this out. Um, I never played it with that before, so I may try it. Yeah, why not? So go. Ooh, no. I don't think this is a good idea. It's not easy to steer, if you ask me. Uh, maybe? I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not going to go with that. I'm not... Uh, yeah, if you want to solve this challenge, you will have to restart the game then. Um, if you like, uh, like a controller, you might be able to play it like this. I'm not that much into controller playing. Um, because I'm a PC gamer, I'm really used to keyboards. Try that one out. It's hard enough to be done to use this, so, but the good thing about it is, I think it's a little bit more responsive. And um, yeah, in the end, you are going to be not the fastest driver, but you will have to get at least a little bit of a driving experience here, yeah? otherwise you're not going to get this done. And as you can see, he's going to drop down, but that doesn't matter because you're already I got the level completed. In some situations you will get uh, some kind of animations, for instance he's driving on the railways or something like this, which can happen and will be fine. And so just go to the next level then. Again in the day mode we have the second game level now open and we can have a look at that too. And yeah, like this you're going to drive around with your motorcycle trying to solve these little challenges you get there. Um, it's not too hard to do them, but hard enough if you ask me. So somewhere in the playable area, but not in the easiest. And especially the first ones, of course, are pretty easy to go. Um, you have to go through the uh, fire wings, more or less, which are going to tell you where to drive to. And as you can see, it's not, e not always very easy to drive uphill and stuff like that. You really have to care a little bit about what you are doing there to get everything done as you want to. So let's see what we can do. Especially with the controls like this because they are really not easy. We start again. Um, with the controls like this because they are really very, very rapidly changing your directions and stuff like that. So be very careful for this kind of, of part. It could be a little bit easier to go with uh, uh, with your controller. And yeah, what I'm doing here is really I'm going to take my time to go about this. Otherwise we are just dying very, very rapidly. And here you will have to get a little bit of speed up because otherwise you're not going to go up that very steep hill and we got it. This one is already solved too, so level 2 solved. And as you can see you get a couple of different uh, different challenges here from different spawning points more or less and you just have to go through there. The first ones are easy enough to play, um, at least if you found out how the game is working. Other ones are pretty hard to do. And as mentioned before, you can, for instance, use your gamepad or a game controller like the Xbox One as well as controller or something like that to play this game too. Yeah, 
And this is more or less the end of the episode. I hope you had fun with it. Um, if you liked the episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't subscribe to now, now is the time to do that. Um, if you want to ask any kind of questions or tell me something, please put it down below in the commentary section. And other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a great time, have a great day, and see you around in the next episode. Bye! Bye!